Hi, this is Arthur, and this is a summary of the newly released Trailblaze Quest Top Clouded Tower Thrust, released in Honkai Star Rail version 1.2. The Trailblazer and the gang head over to the Alchemy Commission and witness the aftermath of a battle between Sanctus Medicus and the Cloud Knights. They meet up with the Cloud Knights and Fu Xuan. The gang learns that Sanctus Medicus is using elixir crucibles to emit smoke that can turn long-lived species into Marastruck. Side note, Marastruck is an illness that long-lived species of the Shenzhou can suffer and turns them hostile. Fu Xuan asks the Trailblazer to disable the Elixir Crucible since they are short-lived species and unaffected by the smoke. They disable all the Elixir Crucibles and confront Dang Shru, the former head of the Alchemy Division and leader of Sanctus Medicus. They fight and defeat Dang Shru. Dang Shru then calls someone named Fantilia for help. Ting Yung then reveals that she is Fantilia, Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion, and that she seeks the self-destruction of the Shenzhou. Fantilia turns some Sanctus Medicus followers into Antimatter Legion soldiers and escapes. The group defeats those soldiers. Welt then explains that Fantilia is one of the seven Lord Ravagers who served the Aeon Nanook the Destruction. Welt also explains that despite watching Ting Yun snap her own neck, it's unclear if that was the real Ting Yun or if that was even her body. They discuss amongst each other and conclude that Fantilia planted the Stellaron and is headed to the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor located at Scale Gorge Waterscape. Cut to Dong Hung who is still making his way to the Trailblazer. Don Hung then goes to Scale Gorge Waterscape where he is met by Blade, Kafka, and later Yan Ching. Blade then reveals that Dong Hung's true identity is the High Elder of the Vidyadhara, Limbibiter Lune. The three fight until Kafka stops them and Jing Yuan shows up. Jing Yuan reveals that he asks Kafka and Blade to find Dong Hung and allows Kafka and Blade to leave. It is then revealed that the Vidyadhara go through a hatching rebirth cycle. Long ago, Dong Feng, the then elder of the Vidyadhara, committed a crime and was forcibly reborn as Dong Hung, erasing his old self. Dong Hung was then banished from the Luo Fu. Jing Yuan offers to rescind his banishment if he does something for him that only Dong Feng was capable of. The two then meet with the Trailblazer. Jing Yuan explains that long ago the Aeon Lan the Hunt cut down the Ambrosial Arbor. However, remnants of its curse remain in its roots, and the Vidyadhara sealed those roots in Scale Gorge Waterscape by flooding it. The High Elder, the Vidyadhara, was the one responsible for guarding the Ambrosial Arbor and the only one capable of opening a path to it. Jing Yuan now asks Dan Hung, the present incarnation of Dang Feng, to use his powers to open a path. Despite not possessing any of his old memories, Dong Hung somehow opens a path to the Ambrosial Arbor's roots. Jing Yuan, the Trailblazer, and the rest of the gang head down and confront Fantilia. Using the power of the Ambrosial Arbor, Fantilia creates a giant body and does battle with the group. Fantilia then takes control of Jing Yuan and tries to change him into a Voidbringer. In order to do so, Fantilia creates a link between herself and Jing Yuan. Don Hung exploits this by attacking Jing Yuan, hurting the linked Fantilia and severing Fantilia's connection with the Ambrosial Arbor. Fantilia then escapes. Fu Xuan and the Cloud Knights arrive to take care of an injured Jing Yuan and to take the Trailblazer back to the city. And that is the end of this quest in this video. If you've liked what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe.